So, one of our regular go-to meals at home is the Mrs. Mix Bolognese. It's a secret family recipe from when I grew up in Rome as a kid. And it's not just spaghetti bolognese, you can do a whole bunch of different things with it. So I'm going to show you just the two simplest ones today. The spaghetti bolognese and bolognese bruschetta, which the teenage kids love. So for the bolognese bruschetta, find the best sourdough you can find. I like to cut it on the side a little bit, makes the slices a bit bigger. Got a very thick bottom. And you get some fresh olive oil, brush it onto the bread, a little bit on both sides, a bit of extra flavour. And I've just cut a simple garlic clove, rub some beautiful fresh garlic onto it, take it over to the preheated chai griller, garlic side down, give it a bit of a press. And you want to get it nice and charred, get some beautiful depth to the flavour. Once the bread has been char grilled beautifully, turn them over. If you don't have a char griller, it's totally fine. Just chuck, cut the bread, chuck it in your toaster. When it's cooked, nice and brown, then brush the olive oil and the garlic on. You can't put the olive oil in first, it'll set fire to your toaster. So with my family, we have a few people with different tastes. One of us likes it just spooned on. You can be as generous as you want. A little bit of the fresh pecorino. And a few leafy greens. And then the smallest in my family likes it grilled with cheddar cheese. The cheddar on the top into a preheated griller. About 200, just so the cheese is nice and melted and lovely. Okay, so dinner's almost ready. The bruschetta are both done, waiting on the table. And it's just time to plate up the pasta. It's a nice steaming pot, and we like to use spaghetti and bolognese. That's the traditional. Cheers. 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 Sunday afternoon. Very nice.